Hey there everybody, it is Depth Moon and today I am going to be completing a three marker challenge. So I know this challenge is a bit old and outdated and not many people are still doing it, but hey, you've never seen my three marker challenge. Now to help me choose which markers I'm gonna use, I have compiled all the markers that I have. I use Ohuhu markers and I put them into this website, Wheel of Names. And I'm gonna spin so that I can have it choose markers for me so it's no cheating whatsoever. The three markers that I get with this website are the three markers that I'm gonna use. So fingers crossed they give me something good. If they don't, uh, you know, we may not get this video. All right, so let's do the first marker. All right, so the first marker is R18. So R18, that looks like this nice skin tone color. So I'm happy about that. All right, all right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, GY1, that's pale green. All right, so not too bad. Okay, we got a skin tone, we got a green, and now let's 95. So this one is one of my older Ohuhu markers. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. There we go. So this is an older Ohuhu marker. It's a nice brown. I'm not sure what its equivalent is in the newer markers, but that's all the markers that I'm going to be using today. We have two different types of skin tones. I mean, this could also be, you know, skin tone, hair color, whatever, but that's what I'm working with. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, open my sketchbook, and we'll swatch these. All right, so I have my sketchbook here. And for anybody curious, this is the render sketchbook. So it doesn't bleed through to the other side. All right, so right off the bat, that R18 is the one that I'm most worried about. It doesn't really show up on this paper. I mean, we can definitely check to see how layering might work. And I'm gonna test how the colors work together. With this R18, let's put the green on top here. It completely takes over. Let's put it on top here. Um, that makes it kind of fade out. Let's try this one. The brown on top. I said it completely takes over. And then let's try it here. I mean, I don't see a big difference. And then the R18 on top, which I think this is just gonna end up picking up colors. Let's see. Yeah, look at it. Let me try the other side. Wipe it off. Uh, you know, that's the one thing I dislike about this render sketchbook is the marker colors, they look different than what the actual marker is. Like, for example, let me get my old swatches from my last sketchbook. All right, so as you can see with my last sketchbook, the colors are more vibrant. Like you see R18, you can actually see a difference. It's like a skin color. But when you look at it here, it's, it's like a completely different color. And even with the GY1, let me, where is it? Here, it's so much darker and more pigmented on this paper than it is in the render sketchbook. And this is a Grumbacher sketchbook, by the way. So that's one thing I'm worried about is actually using the markers on this paper. I may end up pulling out just a sheet of marker paper that I have laying around to actually do maybe the final drawing in and even just test the colors to see how it comes out. Actually, let me do that now. Well, already, you can see the difference in colors. Like it feels more vibrant. And these two colors go along a lot better together. So, honestly, I may just end up using this page just for the sketching process, maybe to try and test the colors just a little bit. But I think I'm gonna end up using my graphics paper to actually do the finished drawing. Let's get into the actual sketching process. 
All right, y'all, it's voiceover moon here. And I decided to go ahead and speed up this sketching process because y'all already see the length of this video. It's 25 minutes. So I wanted to just go ahead and speed it up. This is the test sketch and y'all gonna see me struggle through another sketch later. So, you know, I just wanted to wrap it up. Okay, so we'll go ahead, erase it a little bit. I don't know if I wanna line it and then add color or if I should add color and then line it. We'll do the color first, okay, just to make this shorter. Actually, now that I'm doing it like on a larger scale, it may not be too bad. Okay, that's enough, whatever. He looks pale as heck, oh my God maybe let's try green hair first like i don't want to i don't want to go the expected route already more interesting than a basic brown in my humble opinion and then of course the green eyes all right all right and then we're moving in with the brown, 95. And this one, this one is gonna take a minute to color cause, and I don't want it to shape. Let me move this down a little. Okay, and his eyebrows, I guess, will be brown. And I don't think his scar is gonna be brown. And I think this brown is too dark to even think of trying to do shading. So I'm not even gonna try it. At least we can shade the eyes a little. I mean, we can give him green jewelry. I'm not sure if I'm gonna allow myself to use like black as a color. I don't necessarily consider it cheating or anything. I just don't, I don't know. Who knows? So let me go ahead and line this real quick. just for the heck of it. So, I mean, after I add in more details, come up with a better design, I think we could work with something here. But going back to this marker paper, I really do think I would be able to get more variations with this than I would be here. Mm, I don't know, let me go ahead, I'll go sketch out some ideas and then I'll come back when I'm ready to do the final drawing. All right, y'all, so today is another day. And as y'all can see, I was a bit busy yesterday trying to decide what I wanted to do. So y'all saw me sketch out this guy and I tried seeing like maybe a full body, how I could use the colors. And yeah, I thought it was too bland, so I scrapped that. Then I tried a woman <laughs> and her design is great, it's great. I love her hair, I love the split dye. It just looks so nice. So yeah, um, I decided that since the colors are more prominent, I'm gonna try doing it in this sketchbook, but if it does not work out, I do have a backup and I'm gonna end up doing it on that marker paper that I showed y'all yesterday. I guess all that's left to do is to actually go ahead and sketch it out. So me sketching on camera is a bit new. So if I have to end up taking it off screen, you know, that's my bad. Y'all did at least see some of the sketching process. I'm gonna be using this Prismacolor Cola Race pencil in green since that's our skin color and it won't show as much as the pencil. And yeah, let's go ahead and try this. starting with that circle trying to gauge like 
the center to make sure like a little angle that way And I decided because it's three markers and I could not figure out a good outfit clearly, we're just gonna have kind of like a semblance, like a, a facade of a body. No actual body, but you know, maybe solid color. That's something y'all know about me. I'm, it's hard for me to stay on one like focus or focus on one area to draw at a time. Like when y'all saw me in line and net, I was jumping from side to side. I generally try to move from left to right, but I just be, I just be going with the motions, you know? Wherever feels right in the moment. Those people who are able to like talk clearly and draw at the same time, I'm envious because like, how do you, how do, you do that? How do you focus on everything? Especially when I'm lining. Like, when I'm doing line art, uh-uh. Don't expect to hear nothing from me. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I don't like drawing head-on eyes. I feel like it could get too easy for me to mess up and make them look cockeyed. So, <laughs> the easiest thing is to just go simple. And, you know, no personality whatsoever. Big smile. y'all hear my wrist she's an alien that's the, that's my excuse for it she doesn't have a chin because she's an alien boom <laughs> add it to the lore <laughs> oh my goodness um now what i'm not one of them artists who can draw a star just freehand without it coming out looking uh doodle butter so let's just try you know tried and true line you know, I just can't draw a star. Let's let's get that straight. <laughs> let's let's just face the facts here. Me and stars do not mix. Whatever. That's the best we're gonna get it. <laughs> uh, on to the hair. This is the part that scares me the most. You know what? Let's put it off some more, and we'll do her antenna. All right, all right, y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bear with me. Let's start with the easier side which is still gonna be difficult for me. In all the tutorials, they always tell you basic shapes, right? We got our basic shape here. And let's do the shape here, which, uh, okay, okay. Uh, you know what, it's, it's, gonna have to, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> That's gonna have to be it, y'all. I'm stalling. Oh my God, I'm stalling so bad. Okay, okay. Face your fears. It's something, it's vaguely hair-like, right, right? And do I wanna have anything in the background is a thing? I know some artists be doing this like little burst thing where it's like, and they, they don't have to look. <laughs> like stars at all but uh i'm not i don't want it too close to the actual star all right y'all so this is our sketch this is what we're working with combination of these two gals here made into one and yeah there's a lot of empty space on this page but i'll fill it in later with something i'm gonna go ahead and start the coloring process after i lighten this a bit so let's start with skin now i'm gonna let y'all know these markers, I I don't really care for them on this paper. They can be very streaky. And I normally, I try to go in circles, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe on this scale, it won't be too bad. I might try to go over it with like a colorless blender at the end just to try to help it, but it may not do much, just gonna be real from the testing that I've done already in this sketchbook outside of, you know, 
all it is. It just doesn't work how it should. Like how it's advertised, you know, it's great marker paper, stuff is blending, it doesn't bleed through. Whenever I've seen like artists who use the render sketchbook, it's always been nice. Markers go down pretty smooth and flat, but then I got mine from like Jerry's Artorama and they have like a bunch of art supplies and stuff that are discounted. And that's the only way, you know, I was able to really get this and justify the cost of it. But now, since the formula is different, it's just, it's like, dang, did I waste my money? The Canson mixed media stuff, it performed better than this did. I'm just gonna be real with you. I love the fact that it doesn't bleed through to the other side, that's super nice. But I'd rather have it bleed through to the other side of the page than be streaky like this. And then again, it could be just a skill issue. It could be a skill issue for real. That's a, that's a real possibility. <laughs> so I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of these streaks. Let me try this colorless blender. I mean, the one thing with the colorless blender is that it kind of lightens the colors in some cases, but you win some and you lose a lot. Uh-oh. Am I lifting colors? What? I know I put the colorless blender here. But oh, shoot. Yeah, let's, let's go on and stop while we're behind. Okay, I need to stop with the face. That's it. Uh, no, it's not, actually. We're done with that. And this is where I'm going to be worried about losing my lines. Hoppin is lifting some of the green. Lovely, lovely. Just do the face because I'm notorious for messing up face shapes. Add some flyaways because when in doubt, those will always help you. Except when they don't and you do them wrong. <laughs> Lovely. On to the, the R18. And honestly, I'm surprised with this color palette. Like I was really scared to get like a palette where the colors didn't work too well together, but here it works pretty well. Like I'm surprised. Try to shade in the back to differentiate the bangs again. The eyes. Hmm. Oh, we could try the tip to tip. So let's barely touch it go over it to get a little variation at least. Not really sure how much that works. It still kind of looks like <laughs> this color to be real. Now to get a color for the clothes. What I did here was the tip to tip method, but this is too large scale to be doing that. So maybe I'll try <laughs> This is this is where the real the real challenge comes in. Oh, the things I do for this challenge. Let's try it here. Where it's like shadow. Try to blend it out. Trying to actually blend on the page. Y'all forget everything I just said I do while coloring. I'm I'm really winging it right now. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is so splotchy. I hate this. And a part of me wanted to leave it white for like negative space and do something like that, but try to get it on one even tone at least, which isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh, that looks so terrible. So trying to determine what color the background was gonna be. You see, I use the skin tone here around the head where it wouldn't, you know, cause any issues. But here I use pencil. Here is nothing but. I do want it to have some kind of background color. Actually, let me do the line art first <laughs> and then we'll worry about that. Y'all, I am so upset at myself for that shirt. Like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just went with my gut instinct, but please, please do not worry. It doesn't get fixed, <laughs> but I do do another drawing. So yeah, just hang tight for that. I'm thinking our option is to do this. Just go in and don't think about it. 
We're not thinking about it, okay? Oh, I forgot. I was just thinking like, oh, I gotta avoid the line. Oh my God. You know, your girl is dumb. That, that might just be a skill issue there. I'm not even gonna lie. That one, that one is just a skill issue. All right. Oh, I forgot the lines. Look, see, I always do this. What were y'all gonna tell me, huh? <laughs> When were y'all gonna tell me I forgot a whole line? Any other lines? Any other lines? Okay. And hopefully our lines can handle it. I forgot that line. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Y'all was probably screaming at me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> y'all, who was gonna tell me? Oh my God, I look so stupid right now. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, you win some, you lose a lot. Okay, let's go back to it. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. Hold on, <laughs> hold on now. Let me, before I mess it up, let me get some details. We're gonna do a final little line. Now that's gonna take a good two to three business days to dry. All right. All right, y'all. This is, this is it. If it can focus. Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna focus. So I'll probably put a close up somewhere so y'all can see it better. But that's the finished drawing. <laughs> It did what it wanted to do at the end. I'm just a bystander at the end of the day. Just for a comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and make another version on the graphics paper so y'all can see what that would've looked like. All right, y'all, so this is a bit later and I went ahead and did another version on the graphics marker paper I was telling y'all about. And to be honest, I like this one so much better probably because I did it off camera and I could turn the page and everything. I'm gonna hold them side by side so you can see the comparison of the colors and the blending. Oh my gosh. Now that I look at it, the shirt on the original one wasn't too, too bad, but I prefer the white, hands down. So yeah, that was my three marker challenge, y'all. I had two finished drawings. Y'all can determine which one y'all like better in the comments if y'all like. But I thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope to see y'all again for the next video. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, drink water, and I'll see y'all guys soon. Bye.